Hey guys, I'm Adam and welcome to the Art of UAV. Today we're going to go over the Dove 07 controller. I'm just going to basically set up the configurations like I promised in my last video. Uh, I fitted with Kira Runner 250 Pro. Saying that, I think it would probably work on any of the runners. The configuration once it's set up, it should be fine. I will do a couple of extras today. I'll do the fail safe just to show you that. So, you know, if you're panicking and you can't control it, you can cut the motors and, you know, hopefully it'll land safely for you. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of accessories, like talk about a bit more about the battery area, and also got a Devo strap, what never came with it, but I can tell you where I've got that from. But yeah, uh, if I can't get a camera up close enough, uh, I'm missing anything that you want to ask, just drop a comment, I'll, uh, I'll do my best to answer that for you. But saying that, I think the best thing to do is get on the bench, and I'll show you how to set this thing up. Right guys, so here's the controller. Hopefully you can see it, I haven't got great light, but uh, once the screen's lit up, you'll be seeing what I can do. So yeah, just a brief one over the front. I won't go into too much detail, but yeah, this is your menu screen down at the bottom. Right, you're in, uh, exit, left and uh, left and right, and then down and up. Uh, that's where your settings, but you'll see what I'm doing in a bit of that. Your trims, which you'll use when you're on the field, that's your on switch in the middle, and this is a clip for your next strap, which I purchased one a few days ago. A uh, couple of quid off Banggood, so I'll leave a link in the description. That just clicks on there and it gives you a bit more support. This is mode two, so left hand throttle. Um, at the top here, you can leave these all set to zero because they don't really do much. Make sure your auxiliary is in the middle. Um, but yeah, this I might change to be an arm switch and then maybe this one for a buzzer. So if I lose my quad, I can trigger a buzzer and that'll work. Uh, going over to this side here is more what you're going to be looking at. It's the FMD. You've got a mix switch and DR. DR can be set to zero, and these two here. So, first one is um, mix. Once your quad's at a certain height off the ground, um, you'll see a flashing light on the back of your quad. That means it's at the right height for you to then activate GPS. So all you've got to then do is flick it down one, and that put it in GPS hold mode. If you flick it down one more, that's return to home. We slick back to here. These two functions are then active. Again, they need to be in GPS mode for these two to work. So the first one you've got is hyper mode and the second one is circular mode. First one is hyper mode. That basically means that uh, if you're a beginner and you're not quite sure what way is your front or back and you're scared to keep pushing forward because you don't know which way you are, you can put it in hyper mode and if you press back, that will come back to you instead of having to turn the quad all the way around the front face and then come back to you. So it's quite handy if you're panicking. And the second one is circular mode. So once in GPS mode, once it's at set, set height, you press right or left it's going to go all the way around in a circle right or left so good if you're filming um yeah it's just a nice extra mode you've got there so that's that uh make sure everything's set back to zero for this um uh, throttle down moving to the back hopefully you can see this looks like it would have had a micro usb thing maybe for the upgraded switch uh, upgraded controller you could have the, the the micro usb but it hasn't got one on this model uh DC charger input, so if you've got a lipo battery you can charge on this side, and this one's got a, uh, a jack plug. In the actual box itself, it did come with a jack lead, I weren't quite sure what that's for, but um, I think you can plug your jack lead into here and plug it into your PC, um, and then you can set your uh, configurations on your computer there, and maybe even use it, the controller for a racing sim. Um, so yeah, I'm yet to do that. Inside here is your battery compartment. I've just got uh, eight um, AAs in there, but you can take that out and put a LiPo battery in. Um, what I would recommend on that would be 11.1 volts, 1,100 milliamps, and I will leave a link in the description for a battery I recommend for this. Anyway, let's get into the configuration because that's what mainly I'm doing this for. So everything's at zero, um, and then yeah, so just turn it on. Hopefully you can see the screen, guys. I'd like to say, I'll, uh, if you get confused or you're stuck, just drop a comment and I'll, uh, I'll uh, see what I can do for you. So yes, throttle, there you go, so there's your throttle, you can see it going up, this is your batteries, my batteries are half there, um, and then your trims are on the side. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go into the settings and just reset my controller because obviously I've got it set up and I want to go from the beginning to the end with you guys. Um, so first things first, I'm going to do that now, so I'll just quickly get this done. Right, so that's my controller now reset to the beginning. Um, so first thing we want to do is, I'll just quickly explain how the top works. So at the top you'll have three, three different title menus here. Once you press enter you'll have uh, system, model and function. Mainly we're going to be working in model and function. First one, system, is just basically your contrast to your screen. Um, contrast to your screen 
and uh, just a little bit about the controller, what firmware it's using and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, you don't really need to go into there today. First one we want to be heading to is model. So press enter, scroll up and down so you find model at the top and then press enter. Make sure you scroll all the way to the top and that's the first setting we want to go to. So if you press select, press enter on that so it's select and when we go to model one, so make sure it's highlighted, then we're coming back out. I'm going to go down to name so we can name it so we know what we're, we're working with. Um, obviously, because I've been doing the Pro, I'm just going to call it Pro. just makes it easier. So, press down, and then this side here, down, that will move to the next letter. And again, scroll all the way down, and next letter, and I won't be going up. No, down. So, Pro, enter, and exit. If you want to go back to the top you can just to see if it's worked so you just go to select press enter and there's there it is that's what we're working on today so we're going to get the settings set up in pro exit first thing go down to type just click on that and that needs to be not helicopter it needs to be aero mode so just scroll down and press enter that's that done back out next one is wing just click on there make sure that's set and normal guys back out and then this gets a little bit confused in the output this is where you really need to concentrate on it and I'll try and do go over it a couple of times so you can see the settings so output first thing scroll all the way down to the bottom I'll work from the bottom and then go up because for some reason you only get one flap showing here but once you set a settings down here it gives you two so we need to set all of them so start from the bottom um, so this first one needs to be auxiliary two needs to be act then you go up to the next one and this wants to be set to gear. Still is there? Yeah, gear. That will now open up to. Uh, once you go into this and change this one, it'll open up a flap again for you. So first flap, you want to be changing to act. And then if you press up one more, there you go. That's your second flap. It's now highlighted. Um, and this needs to be FMD. Top one needs to be act again and. Top of that needs to be mix. So that's all of the settings done there. So I'll just go through from the top to the bottom so you've got it all right. So gear, mix, gear, act, flap, FMD, flap, act, uh, auxiliary two, gear, uh, auxiliary two, act. So that's all the settings done. So we can now actually back out of this. Um, and this is everything in the model side done. So exit that, and we're finally moving over to function. So all you got to do is press enter, it'll start flashing, and move across to UC function. Click on that. Um, yeah, so the first one is the IEV. Click on enter on that. Just make sure you go through all of these, and just make sure everything's set to normal, guys. Normal, 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 normal. Um, so that's okay, so we can come back out of that. And then the last thing you want to do is set a fail safe, just in case you're panicking and your quad's going out of control, you can actually just turn it off and I'll kill your motors so it doesn't keep on flying away. So let's set that up. So let's just keep scrolling down in functions till you see safe. Press enter. Uh, first one wants to be on hold. Second one wants to be on hold. Third one needs to be set to safe, which is throttle, guys. So press enter and then scroll down one more and it'll go throttle L100% and that needs to be set. So just press enter on that. And then that's everything done. So we can back out to the main screen um, and that is now ready to rock and roll. Hey guys, welcome back. So that's the Devo 7 configuration set up ready for you guys to hit the field and have a bit of fun and get flying. There is a couple of extra features in there like contrast on the screen and the timer. Um, you can go in by all means and have a little mess around with that. But what I do recommend is just copying what we've done today on the file and then putting it into another mode. So if you do go into it and you mess that up, you've got a backup. If that all fails, then reset the control and just start the process again. So yeah, I've pretty much covered that. My next review will probably be on um, some props, what props I wanted to put on the, the, the thing, mount the GoPro, and then the headset, which was the Goggle 4. So I'll get around to doing that over the next week and get that out to you guys. So yeah, happy flying, be safe, and I will catch you next time. Peace.